So it definitely is a pitcher's league as he fakes a first and he goes to third and it just gets by the third baseman and the penmen are up one to nothing as Chavez comes across the plate. She takes that fastball and just swinging it into the gap is Henry. So he's gonna get on his horse. He's gonna go in for two and crossing the plate will be Goldstein and now the penmen are up two to nothing. Just ropes that one right up the middle. Being waved around is Henry, and they will get their third run and bobbling it in the center field. It was Kelleher, and in with a stand-up double will be Kennedy. I would take off right now if I were Henry. There he goes, and he gets him to chase the high cheese and strikes him out. And gets that 1-1, one -one and that's going to be ground towards Third base and diving and making a great play, trying to throw, but just beating it out was Sabo, but a good job of stabbing that one. Tobin coming back with the cheese, and that's going to be laced to left field with a base hit. It is wild, and now Skyhawks have another runner in scoring position. Just itching for a base hit. That one's just going to be rolled right towards the third baseman. Corrals, it throws high, but they said he's off the bag, and now the bases are jammed for Quinn. So he's got him on that curveball twice already. I'd come back with it, same spot, same playground. Just had the off speed, and that's going to be a single up the middle, and it's going to score one, possibly two. And rounding third and heading for a home is wild, and just like that, the Skyhawks are back in this ball game. Throws that one flat, and that's going to be single up the middle again. Rounding third and heading for home. No play at the plate, and this ball game is tied. As Downey gets himself an RBI as Robbie Dwart crosses the plate. That was just going to be an off speed and a great pitch by White to get him to go. That's just going to be a ground ball towards 30. Boots it, tries to make the play to first, and throws over. And now that ball, they're going to say, is out of play. So runners got to hold up, but Penman have taken the lead four to three. And no, folks, I'm not stuck in a tornado. That's just the win. And that one's going to be a base hit single and staying at third, but crossing the plate is Doherty and staying at third is Faircloth. And Morales gets his RBI. And not keeping the runner on third as he goes for a swing and that's just gonna be driven towards left field in foul territory and tagging and scoring will be Faircloth. And it's gonna be six to three. Laces that one, that's gonna be just a soft roller towards third base and beating it out is Sabo. And he goes high and he hits Quinn and that one's gonna sting for just a minute. And now the bases are loaded for Downey who singled and got an RBI in this game. And you can hear some Stonehill faithful because he throws that one again and that one's gonna be low and away and a good at bat for Patrick Downey. And it is going to be six to four with one out, and the bases are still loaded. Outfield is deep, so a ground ball is going to score two. That one is just airlifted to right field and diving and making the catch. And what a catch it was by the right fielder, so a run will score, so it's six to five. But a great diving effort by Sam Henry. Base hit ball four for Rocco is what he's thinking. And he swings and puts one in to the gap. And that one's just going to be diving catch again. Making his second diving catch of the day and saving extra bases was Samuel Henry. So you can hear Coach Loazzo saying whatever you want. 
having a lot of faith in their closer as he swings and misses and it's foul tip and Morales catches it. And that will do it as Penman hangs on and wins this ball game, this any 10 ball game of six to five on top of Stonehill College. So they take two of three for the weekend.